beginnings of everything. But as I look down in my bucket, Fred's being a bit ornery, y'all. He's done took a tater and ran, but he's got himself stuck in the pot. So I don't want to cook Fred. Fred is my friend. So I'm going to take Fred's tater and I'm going to get it out of there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can come on out. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, so what we're going to do, y'all, we're going to make, and I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use my cheat sheet. That's just all there is to it, okay? But we're going to make a Mexican, uh, a crock pot Mexican casserole. And it's really good. It's got some really good stuff in it, and it's a very healthy meal. So let's get our, let's get gloved up, y'all. Gloved up. Remember, we're going to talk about some food safety, too, so gloves, gloves. All right, now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Crock-Pot has some liners for your, your pots. Amazing. They're awesome, okay? And it kind of it, it helps you on the cleanup and all of that. But grab you some liners when you're in, uh, in the stove, okay? You'll thank me. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open up our liner. Yes, we are. Do you know how weird this is doing this and not being able to see any comments or not having somebody say something? Gosh. Okay. But that's okay. We're going to we're going to get through this. Um Okay. So we're going to line our crock pot. Put that down there. We want the edges of it to come over the side because we, it's just like a garbage can. Lord have mercy. I can't stand a garbage can when you drop something down in the garbage can and the garbage bag just goes all up in there Ugh. okay so what we've done and now let me make you sure make sure you understand the recipes that you're seeing tonight and tomorrow night and every night on this show okay because this gets it gets a bit confusing all these recipes are going to be in the newsletter okay also the newsletter went out last Friday night around midnight who has and has not opened their newsletter? I know some who have, and I've got the whole list of those who haven't. I got that list. Okay, so we're going to start out, and we're going to use ground turkey. Okay, we want to use the leanest ground turkey. I like to get about 93%. So we want to get some ground turkey. We want to get some EVOO, some extra virgin olive oil, and we want to dice up an onion, and we want to brown that. We want to get that all cooked together and so then we're going to drain that and what we're going to do we're going to take that since it's drained I'm going to break that up I'm going to put that right down in the bottom of this crock pot right down in the bottom of it okay here we go put that right down there Okay, that's about as good as it gets right there, folks. All right. All right, the next layer of stuff that we're going to do, we're going to take a cup of uncooked quinoa. Now, you can get the white quinoa or you can get the tricolored quinoa. And I like the tricolored because it just adds some color. Huh, <laughs> go figure. Okay, so we're going to drop the quinoa down. We want one cup of the quinoa. See how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, I just love that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add two 10-ounce cans of red enchilada sauce. Okay. Now, I like, I personally like the mild. That's what me and Dale have. We, we like the mild. We don't like the spicy stuff. But you can get whatever you want. I mean, if you like the spicy, get the spicy by all means. But we want two of those 10-ounce cans. Oh, my goodness. It's smelling so good. Heavens, heavens, heavens. Yes. Okay. Where'd my towel go? Here it is. 
All right, so the next thing we're going to add is, okay, we're going to take our black beans and we're going to rinse them and we're going to drain them, which is what we have done. Now, I use... Where's my camera? I don't know where my camera's at. Okay, but anyhow, I use the no salt black beans, no salt added black beans, because I just don't want all the extra salt. So, all right, now we're going to drop those down in there. Okay. The next thing we're going to use, we're going to use a 15 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. We're going to pour all them, the juice and all folks, we're going to take the juice and all, we're going to empty that right on into the bucket. Okay, now we want to use some, I personally would rather use fresh corn, but since I don't have fresh corn right now, frozen corn is just as good. So we're going to use a cup and a half of frozen corn, whole kernel corn. And we're going to drop that down in there. Is this looking good or what? And it's a very healthy meal. Very healthy meal. Perfect. Perfect. Y'all having fun? I'm having fun. Okay, now we've got a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper that we have diced, chopped and diced. We're gonna put that in there. We're just gonna put all of that in there. Look at that, that's looking good. We've cored and diced that bell pepper. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take two tablespoons of chili powder and like I say, this recipe is going to be uh, in your newsletter. Of course it don't do y'all no good if y'all don't open the newsletter. Good Lord folks. My goodness. I know Tammy opened hers at three o'clock the other morning. Okay, so ground cumin and a teaspoon of garlic powder. half a cup of water. Now, we're going to stir this all up. Does that look gorgeous or what? Oh my goodness, and it smells so wonderful. Look at that. There's that quinoa. Now this, folks, is going to cook. All you've got to do, this can be either a quick or a, a, a longer cook. You can cook it um, two and a half to three hours on high, or like I like to do, I always like to cook it on low so that the flavors and everything can marry a lot better that way. And plus, you want the quinoa to be completely absorbed. You know, all the, the... Look at that. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? That is gorgeous, y'all. Okay. So that is our Mexican casserole, our crock pot Mexican casserole, that we will come back later and we will add some toppings, we'll add some cheese, we'll add some chopped avocado, and we'll add some Greek yogurt. And so it's going to be amazing. Hang with me, we'll be right back to show you the finished product. Okay, so now we've let this cook all day. Look at this. This is beautiful, and oh my goodness, how it smells. So what we're going to do at this point, we're going to take uh, 
a little over half a cup. I'm just going to tell you what, it's probably about three-fourths of a cup. I put a half a cup in the recipe. I think I'll go ahead and change that before I send that out because it, I like, I mean, I like the cheese. So you can do a half or three to three-fourths of a cup. We're going to mix that in right here. Mix the cheese in. Oh, heavens. This is looking so good. Oh, my goodness. I wish y'all could smell that. Shelly says, can you smell that from Mississippi, baby? You need to be able to. All right. So what we're going to do now is take the other cheese and just sprinkle it on top. Then... Oh my goodness gracious, cheese, cheese, and more cheese. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle that on top. What we're going to do now, we're going to close the lid back down, guys. We're going to close the lid back down and we're going to let this sit for, until, for about 20 more minutes. So that cheese can get melted and it can get all good and gooey. Oh, yes. Okay, so hang on. We're going to let that sit and cook for 10 or 15 more minutes or until we get done. Okay. Are we having fun so far? I wish, I really wish you could smell this. You guys are going to have to. Oh, Tiffany's here. Thank the Lord. I've been trying to get a hold of you, girl. Um, everybody say hey to Tiffany. My daughter just showed up. She sent me a video a while ago of my grand dog. Buckshot. He is the cutest. Oh, I love that dog. Okay. Mexican word of the day. Disney. I went to the doctor for my knee. He said, which knee hurts? That knee or Disney? <laughs> Shelly, you know how to throw me off. Big squirrel. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen. Okay. So we've got the Mexican casserole. We've got that. The cheese is going to be melting on that. When we come back to the to once it's done, we'll come back to it. We're going to add some toppings to it. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the the next uh, crock pot meal. And one thing I need to make sure you guys understand that there are different sizes of crock pots. Okay, now like Tiffany's family, um, she's she's she would need the seven quart crock pot okay this crock pot here is four and a half quarts um, we've got a two quart that I'll show you down here that, that you know uh, pot roast for two um, that there's different sizes so when you get these recipes you can adjust them to whatever size crock pot you need um, you know the four and a half quart is is more than enough for just me and Dale so um, you know, just understand that there are different sizes of crock pots. Okay, so, uh, no, Shelly, you ain't got to apologize. I can, it's just like Susie just said, I, the squirrel thing, you know, I'm, I'm all over the place, but that's okay. That's who I am. You know, that's who I am. Um, hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Robin. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, Jessica just joined us. Hey, Jessica. Uh, I, I guess you're still in Illinois playing with the uh, mesh and the ribbons that y'all went and bought today. Good job. Good job. Uh, yeah, Tiffany needs more like a 70 quart. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Okay. All right. We're going into the next segment. Now, notice that didn't take hardly any time to put together. It took no time. And then what you do, you, you, when you're ready to go, I made these last night and then put them on this morning. So, you know, if you want to cook them fast, it might take three hours. But if you cook them low and slow, that one's going to take you about six, seven hours to cook. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's it. Now, this one is going to have chicken in it. It's the cheesy chicken, the crock pot cheesy chicken. So, here we go. Here's our next crock pot meal for you. Okay, so we're back again. Now this time, we're going to be making 
still in the large pot. We're going to be making a, a crock pot cheesy chicken. This sounds wonderful. It is wonderful. Cheese and chicken. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, again, what we're going to do, we're going to, we have to practice food safety, folks. Remember that. Food safety. Okay, so we're going to get our gloves on. Okay, now, again, these liners, yes, yes, um, they don't have to be Crock-Pot brand, but get you some liners for your Crock-Pot, you'll thank me, I promise, okay, so what we're going to do, Put our little crock pot liner down here in the pot. Fred did not make it to this pot because he got scared when I said I was going to turn the pot on. So he didn't jump back in this time. We can't have cooked Fred. Fred's part of the family. Gosh, folks. But he did get upset. Okay, again, we have to make sure the bag is well on the outside because we don't want to put the food in here and... There it goes. Okay, so what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a medium onion and we're going to chop it up. And uh, we're going to place the onion down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. Okay, so we've got that onion all chopped up, laid down at the bottom there. We're in good shape. And again, these recipes will be all in your newsletter, folks. So uh, open your newsletter when you get it. Okay, um, then we're going to take, oh, these chicken breasts are just gorgeous. We're going to take these chicken breasts, we're going to lay them down in the bottom of this crock pot. We want to lay them down. I think we have one too many out, so we will put that off to the side. And we're going to, since we have been messing with raw chicken, we're going to redo our gloves. Hang on. Okay. Crock-Pot meals are really... I tell you, they're the way to go if you're if you're a family in the on a in the hurry and you've got a schedule and you've got ball games and gymnastics and all this kind of stuff going on. Boy, the crock pot meal is the way to go. Even in the summer, it's fine. Good. Okay, so we've got our chicken breast down in there. We're going to add some garlic salt. Just going to sprinkle that real good. And then we're going to add, now what I like to use, I like to use, uh, McCormick puts out a smokehouse, um, okay, here we go, a smokehouse pepper. I love the smoky flavor. So if you can find this, um, I think Kroger has it. I know our, our local store here called Crest, it has it. If you can't, you can get it on Amazon. So you want to put some some pepper here. If you if you don't like the smokehouse pepper, just use your regular ground pepper. That's fine. Okay. Oh man, I love that smell already, already, already. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna top each piece of chicken with two slices of Swiss cheese. Cheesy chicken. Two slices of Swiss cheese. So that's pretty much going to cover up everything. We want that all good and covered. Okay. Now, we're going to, the regular um, cornbread dressing in a box, uh, stovetop. Um, I don't use the stovetop brand. It didn't really matter to me because 
the the um, the brand I do use cornbread cornbread you don't want no fancy flavor nothing like that you don't need the extra added flavor so I'm gonna use a cup and a half of that and I'm gonna pour that down on top of the chicken and just kind of spread that out okay it's called layering folks layering now on top of that we're gonna pour a half a cup of melted butter all over that. Good job. Okay, now we're going to pour, we've got a can, a 10 ounce can, yeah, 10 ounce can of Rotel. Now I use for, for me and, and Dale, we we don't like the spicy. We can't eat the spicy. So I just get the mild. You know? I just get the mild. Toss that in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, then we're gonna take, we're gonna take a can of cream of mushroom soup. Pour that over the top of that. Now I get, and, and again, to try to keep this as healthy as possible, I get the, um, I don't know if I can, you can see that without the glare, the 98% fat free. That's where, that's the where I head when I go to get this stuff is the 98% fat free. Let's spread that out over there. And then the last thing that we're going to do, we've got eight ounces of chicken broth. And we're going to pour that right on top of everything. Now, this meal, since we've got the chicken in there, I like, I, I'm, I'm real big about, uh, When I do the crock pot cooking, I'm real big about cooking it low and slow and letting it, all the flavors and everything all just marry together and make it, I mean, it just, it just makes it taste so much better. So this one with the chicken is going to run, I think, yeah, eight to 10 hours. So, you know, you pop this in, in the, uh, get all this together in the pot before you leave for work and turn it on low and by the time you get home you have supper ready okay so that's what this one's this one is it is the cheesy chicken the crock pot cheesy chicken so hang on we'll be right back and we'll taste the finished product okay we'll see you in a minute Did that, did that look as good to you as it did to me? I see a lot of people here. Uh... Yeah, now I know Tiffany loves her some stovetop stuff, and I'm just going to say it. My youngin loves some stovetop stuff, and she can make a whole meal out of that. Um, hey, guys. So is, there, is everything looking, so good, looking good so far? Okay, so we're going to pop this lid open here. I love these things with the, the, the lid that hinges on there. Okay, so we have now one thing that also that I didn't I didn't mention and I didn't even make tonight was um, you can always make a um, pot of oh look at that look at that chicken breast have mercy look at that um, you can make a pot of rice. If you would like to go with this, 
Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Look at that. Oh mama. So now, um, this is really hot and I'm, I'm probably fixing to burn the hound out of myself. As, as my mom used to say, it burned the hair off your tongue. Look at that chicken. That chicken's just, look at that. It's just falling apart. Can you see the chicken? Can you see the chicken? Did I move it too far? The chicken's just falling apart. Look at that. That's really hot, though, too. But you know what? I'm going to try it. Probably going to, like I say, burn the hair off my tongue, but it's okay. I'll have mercy. Mm. Okay, show's over. Bye. Mm. I'm going to sit down and eat some chicken. No, it's not. Folks, let me tell you something. That right there. Oh, my goodness. Tiffany, you've got to make this for my grandbabies. Oh, my Lord. That is amazing, guys. That is amazing. Okay. That chicken is... Oh, my gosh. I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but it is that good. All right. Okay, Robin, let me tell you how you get the recipe. You go over to my um, group page. Uh, Shelly, can you help her out with that? Um, go over to my group page and uh, click on there to join. And it'll ask you one question. And that will be to leave your email address. And I send out a newsletter. Sometimes folks open it. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, I'm going to ride this one. But um, here are the three recipes for the, the three meals that I'm doing tonight. They are already in the newsletter. They're, they're ready to go. So if, you'll, if, you're, if you have not, if you have not uh, joined my page, my group page, go ahead and go on over there and join it now and uh, let me get your email address because this, this, this is going out tonight. There you go, right across the screen. That's where you need to go to, My Back Rose Life with Chef Jan. Okay? Um, thank you, Miss Esther. I'm so glad you read your newsletter. I'm so glad you finally got it. Um, Tiffany wants me Tiffany wants me to come make this for her. Can you believe that? Yes, okay. Uh, good. Yes, Cheryl, you did finally open it. I saw that, sweetie. Okay, um... Man, that is good. Have mercy. Oh, Tammy, where are you, dear? This is really, really good, guys. And like you can do. <laughs> My Lord. When it comes to the Rotel, you can make it as spicy as you want. If you like the really hot stuff, if you like the real spicy stuff, do that. You know, change that. Put the spicy stuff in it. Um, Kimberly, yes, you need to go join the group. Yes, yes, sweetie. You need to go join the group. But um, you can make it as spicy as you want. Like I say, Dale and I, we can't do the spicy food. But um, you know what would be good? Uh, Shelly, have, have you ever, have y'all ever had any blue cornbread? We're going to be doing some blue cornbread here. But if you can get your hands on some blue cornmeal and make you some blue cornbread, and uh, this blue, that blue cornbread would, would be amazing with this. Amazing. Um, oh my goodness, yes. Cornbread for sure, for sure. Um, Aaron, I haven't opened my newsletter yet, been busy. Oh, Aaron. Okay, guys, listen. All right, I'm going to say a little bit about Erin. This is Shelly's daughter. Her husband is in the military, and he's been gone for seven and a half months. God bless your heart, sweetie. Um, he's coming home for a four-day work trip. I am so thrilled for you. Oh, my, I'm about to cry. 
Aaron, I know that y'all got to be so excited for this, the four days that you get together. So, honey, you don't worry about that newsletter. You just do what you need to do to get ready for your husband to come home, okay? And uh, that that's so sweet. I, I'm, so, I'm so excited for you. I really am. Oh, my goodness. That just makes my evening. Okay. Peggy, your mama's email isn't working, or did, is it is it the email? Is it on her end? Let me know. Okay, yes. We thank Aaron's husband, and I'm so sorry. I have completely forgot his name. It's right here, but I can't think of it. But we do thank, thank him for his service. We really do. Um, okay, good, Robin. I'll, I'll catch up with you when I get done with this. I'll go straight to my computer. I'll bring you in there, and I'll get your name in on the newsletter that will go out tonight. Um, okay, tomorrow, oh my goodness, he's going to be there tomorrow, so exciting, well, praise the Lord, I, that is just, I've got goosebumps, Aaron, that is awesome, I can, Brandon, Brandon, that's his name, yeah, you're right, Shelly, that's his name, his name is Brandon, um, Brand, uh, Aaron, please tell Brandon that, that we do, we, we thank him very much for his service in the military. We really do. Um, okay. All right, folks. Oh, my squirrel. But no, that, okay. This is, this is, this is amazing. Y'all got to make this. I'm telling y'all, you got to make this. That's, oh my gosh, that's so good. And this got to sit there in front of me and I can't eat the whole thing right now. Okay. We're fixing to go to one more segment. We got one more pot, one more meal. So, enjoy. Okay, we're back. Now, notice the itty bitty baby crock pot sitting on the counter. We're going to make a crock pot meal for one or two people, depending on how much you eat. This could be for the single person that just wants to fix something on the run and have it ready when they get home, or it could be for the husband and wife or the couple that, that is on, on a diet and they just want to, they want to have their portions the way it should be. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a, a crock pot pot roast for two. Or one depending on how much you want to eat okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna now I do not have a bag in this um, it's itty bitty you can clean it okay so what we're gonna start out with we've got our red potatoes we're gonna cube our red potatoes and put them down in the bottom of the pot as long as the potatoes don't roll all over the place. I think that's a, that's a pretty good amount of potatoes there. We're going to take a couple handfuls of carrots and we're going to put that down in the pot. And we're going to mix them all up in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we've got them. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to take some cooking sherry. Some cooking sherry. And we're going to just put a few dashes of cooking sherry down in there. A few dashes, okay. That was a dash or two. <laughs> All right. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. Now, we've got us a nice, small little piece of roast. Small little piece of roast. We're going to sit that little pretty little piece of meat. Isn't that pretty little piece of meat? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? We're going to set that right there. Then we're going to take... <coughs> I got potatoes everywhere, y'all. Good Lord. Fred's trying his best to get another tater. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to take our onion. We sliced an onion in thin slices, and we want to cover our roast with the thin slices of onion. Okay. These things are super quick to put together, guys. You know, they're neat little, boy, that sherry's strong. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. But these are neat little meals, and they're very healthy meals. Let's get those onions in there. 
You can never have too many onions. Is that not right? I think that says in the Bible somewhere. You cannot ever have too many onions. Okay, so we've got a good amount of onions. Maybe, maybe not. Let's have a few more. Let's put a few more in there. Onions, onions, onions. Those are good. Okay, now, what we're going to do, we're going to take our, we've got some onion soup mix. You know these little packs of onion soup mix you get to mix with your sour cream to make your chip and dip, chip dip stuff. Well, we're going to take one of these and we're going to pour about half the bag. Oh, heck, we just put the whole bag in there. What you talking about? Half a bag. All right, we're going to put that in there. We're going to mix it with some beef broth. Now, I like to get the unsalted beef broth. Um, because I like to control the sodium that I'm going to take in and that my husband takes in. I want to control the sodium. So get the unsalted kind. You can add, you can add the amount of sodium you want. I don't like that governed to me by somebody else. All right, so we're going to mix just enough beef broth in here to make this into a paste. Top of the meat. Onions, onions galore. Yes, yay. Okay. I got that in there. Now, one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put another dash of cooking sherry. down in the bottom of the pot and along with a dash of beef broth. Okay, so there's a little dash of cooking sherry and here's a little dash of beef broth. Okay, guess what folks? That's ready to put the lid on and to turn the crock pot on. Now this one, we're going to cook it again uh, on low. You got to get those flavors together, folks. You can't instantly get the flavors to all come in together. Low and slow. So we're going to cook this one low and slow for about eight hours. Eight hours. So you can put this together before you leave for work. Come back home. Guess what? Supper's done. It don't get any easier than that. And it's a really good supper. You've got your meat, your onions, your potatoes, and your carrots. It's just going to be amazing. So I tell you what, I'm going to put this on. And we're going to come back, and I'm going to meet you right back here. And we're going to figure out and find out how good these crock pot meals are. Okay? All right. Hang with me. We'll be right back. Hey, I just want to let you know, Facebook messed with us for a minute. We had to restart, so hang on. Let me see if I can get everybody here. Let me see if I can get everybody here. Hang on one second. Everybody back? Is everybody back in? Okay. Yeah, I know, Susie, and we got booted. Everybody got booted. But I got such a great producer here that he kicked it right back in. So, okay, everybody else here? Did y'all get back? Robin, you're here. Tiffany, Tammy, my two girls here. Tiffany and Tammy's here. So, Jackie's, yeah, welcome back. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're... 
I know, I know. You guys, let me tell you, there's some stuff going on in the background that, that we're working on, and we're not going to have this problem much longer. Just, just stick with me, okay? All right. There was a couple dashes of the cooking sherry in there, yes. The cooking sherry. But it all cooks out, okay? So, all right, Peggy, you're back. Good. Amy, you're back in. Good. Cheryl, high five. High five. Nancy, Miss Nancy's back here. I know Tiffany. I know Tiffany, but Facebook's the only place I got right this minute. But anyhow. Okay, so you saw the little crock pot deal for two. I'm glad you're back, Ann. I'm glad you're back. Okay, now... These little crock pots, they're, they're two quarts, they hold two quarts, and that's the perfect size for a college student or, um, you know, a single person or maybe a couple, like I say, that's, that's trying to watch their, their intake and watch their, um, how much food they, you know, they're, they're, they're watching how much food they take. So this is the perfect size. That way you don't make too much. Because my problem is I make too much, and then I just feel like I need to eat more. You know, okay, well, no, don't do that. All right, so here we are. Here is our, oh my, have mercy. This is just, I, y'all, I can't be keep doing this now. Uh-uh, uh-uh. All that weight I lost is not going to work. Okay, that meat is just as tender as it can be. Whoops, I dropped a, I dropped a, a onion. Okay, so we have, look at this, we've got the carrots. Can you see this? Oh, oh, it's the steam is steaming up the camera. Holy moly. Okay, so we've got the carrots and the onions right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I'm going to do this right here with the meat. The meat is just falling. Folks, the meat is just falling apart. Can you see that? Do I need to move myself under this other camera right here? The meat is just falling apart. Look at that. Now, this is a meal to... You know, you can eat this just like it is. Now, uh, I was raised on pouring this gravy over top of white bread. But um, if you want to make a pot of rice, you know, to go with it, you most certainly can do that. Make sure it's the wild rice with the quinoa and stuff like that in it. Oh, my gosh. Mm 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 mm. good stuff right there. Now I'm just telling you, that's some good stuff. Yeah, Lisa, you should be because this is this it it is amazing. It is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I just about took my breath away. It was so good. Hey, Sherry. How are you doing, girl? Honey, we're doing crock pot meals tonight. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, Terry, it is. It I, I can understand. This, this is, I wish every one of y'all was sitting right here. Everybody get a fork and start digging in, okay? This is crazy good. I mean, crazy good. Look how that meat is just, it's just falling apart. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay. I'll sit right here and eat this whole thing. All right. So now, so I'm going to get back to the Mexican casserole right now. Okay. So we had the Mexican casserole. Yes, 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 we did. And all this stuff smells so, oh my goodness, can you see that? Look at that. Oh, my, my. Ma. Okay. There are there are different ways that you can serve this. You can serve it up in a bowl and add some toppings to it. 
you can have your, um, now these are the kind I like to get. If I'm not making them myself, where's my camera at? Okay. Can you see those? Okay. These are, you're going to love this. They're, now they're more soft and fluffy. Okay. These are the really good ones. I like them. Especially when you go to the Mexican restaurant and you get those hot tortilla things and they bring them to your table. Do you want tortillas? Well, did you have to ask? Of course. Okay. So, so we got our little tortilla. And what we're going to do now, we're going to scoop some of this right on in there. Oh, Miss Esther. Miss Esther, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, and I, I'm, I'm so glad that, that, that you're, you're blessed when you come here. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to dip this. Oh, my Lord, have mercy, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, oh, my goodness. Now, keep in mind, this has, this is a really good meal. It's got ground turkey. It's got corn. It's got black beans. It's got... It's got, oh, it's got some good stuff. Okay, now, um, I don't know about you guys, but I like to use the, uh, where's my camera at? There. I love that Greek yogurt. Now, you can top this with sour cream, but of course we know about the fat and sour cream. So if we use the Greek yogurt, And I would say you don't need any more cheese, but if I was to say that, it would probably be a fib because I love, you know what I'm going to do, watch this. I love cheese. Here's our avocado. Oh my goodness, look at this, folks. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> Tiffany just said, who's getting all this dadgum food? This is everything but fair. Tiffany, 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 you know where your mama lives. Okay. Folks, oh my goodness gracious, I'm not going to roll that up because I'm going to make a, a teetotal mess. So what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to move this off of here. My phone's just to going crazy over here. I wonder if somebody's trying to get some food. Oh my. Okay guys, if y'all haven't signed up for the group, if y'all haven't signed up for the group, then it's your own fault. This is three of the best recipes, honest to goodness. Three of the best recipes. And yes, Tiffany, I will make all three of them for you when you come. Okay? Um, no, Peggy, you don't have to put yogurt or avocado on there. You don't have to. Um, but uh, I love the yogurt and the avocado. I just do. Um, yeah, I know. I know I should make a big mess, but, you know, I'm... I'm trying to be good here. So listen, go over to the group page, join up. Y'all share this video if you will. Share this video, share the one that we had before this if you don't mind since it got broke up. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. If you will share these and um, oh my. Y'all, when we do our Florida retreat, we're gonna have to make some of this. That's just all there is to it. We're going to have to make some of this right here now. Barbara, I'll bring crock pots. Mmm. I'm just going to sit right here and eat this right in front of y'all. That's what I'm going to do. 